Okay, so what I'm going to show you in this video is how to create a custom list in the SharePoint team site. So first thing you need to do is navigate to your SharePoint team site. So here I am here. You'll notice that I currently don't have any custom list installed. So what I need to do is I need to add the app that allows that. To do that, I go to site contents from the quick launch menu on the left, and then I will select the option to add an app. Now this will give me a catalog of all the apps that I have in my SharePoint uh, site collection that I can then add to my team site. Now at the top here we've got a uh, custom list so I se select that and then it asks me for a name so I give the new list a name and what you'll notice now is once it has created that it will appear in the list of apps and you'll see that it'll also appear in the quick launch menu over here on the left under the recent item. Now, if I mouse over this new uh, app or any of the apps, you'll notice an ellipse, uh, basically three dots in the top right-hand corner. If I select that, you'll notice that I do get a number of additional options under settings, about, and remove, but we're not going to work with that at the moment. So what I'm going to do is select details to bring me up to my new custom list. Now, when you look at this custom list here, what we'll see is we basically only have a single column or a single field called title. So if I was going to to create a new item, you'll see that I've only got a single field. So that's not particularly handy in most cases. So what I need to do is add additional fields or columns. Now the way I do that is I go up to list up the top here, select that and that will then bring down the ribbon menu. Under the manage views you'll find that there is an option here called create columns. So I'm going to select that and now it's going to ask me for the name of the field or the column that I'm going to create. So in this case, I'm going to call it first name and leave it as a single line of text. If I scroll down here, I'm going to reduce the amount of characters that it has back to 25. Happy with that. Uh, so that then appears here. So now you'll see that I have title and I have first name. If I then go in and create a new item, you'll see that I now get the two fields as expected. But I'm not finished, I want to add a couple more fields, so I'll go back to create column and I will select last name. Again I'll leave that as a single line of text, scroll down and maybe make this one just 55 characters long, and that will then appear as expected. And the final column I'm going to do things a little bit different. I'm going to make this a gender, and I could leave it as text, but I am actually have the option here to uh, make it a choice. So the choice, if I scroll down, you'll see in this box I can now enter the choices that people can select from. So I'm going to uh, give it two options, male and female, and scroll down, and then go OK. So now I have my four fields there. So if I now go back to browse to get rid of the ribbon and I now add my new item, you'll see that I have my four fields. So first field I can fill in, the next field is text as we noted, third field again is text, but my fourth field you'll see because I made it a choice, I can now choose between uh, the two options I've uh, put in there. So in this case I'll select mail, I'll press save and that will now appear as an item here. So again, I can go in and uh, create a new column here. I could, uh, for example, create another here called location. Um, I could make it a choice, and I could go in here and I could put it in as Sydney or Brisbane or Melbourne or so on. So again, whatever you want, you can fill that up. Um, with the choices that you want, go OK, and again you'll see that column now appear, and if I do add a new item, I can now have that as an option to select from. So that's really how easy it is to create a custom list. The important thing to remember is, is that when you do create a custom list, you need to add it generally as an app to your team site, and when the list is created, it will only have a single column or a single field. You'll need to go into the list tab up the top here and select the create column option and then add the additional columns that you need for your list but really fairly simple and straightforward so with that I thank you very much for watching this video